There are some sections that I will explain on this presentation. First, the background contains the reasons for this research. Second, the problem formulation. Define the problem specifically. Third, the scope of problem contains limitation of the problem. Fourth, literature review. Fifth, basic theory. Explain the theoretical about this research. Sixth, result and analysis. Explain the flow in completing this research, description of this cleaning area, formula with the calculation result and the simulation result. And the last, the conclusion, recommendation, and my references to finishing this research. First, some points for the reason of my final project. Number one, telecommunication service uh, have become a trend in today's human needs to improve the quality of human life. The need to complete the 5G technology standard makes this technology development roadmap become an important discussion at every national and international level meeting. Number two, as we know, 5G NR is a cellular technology that uses millimeter wave frequency as a form additional spectrum and can achieve higher data rates. So, a trial is needed on good 5G network planning in order to become reference for telecommunication service providers in Indonesia. And in this research, we'll conduct 5G network planning on the coverage site with 28 gigahertz frequency in Pulau Gadung industri industrial area. The calculated data will be tested on a planning tool that's called Bento Planet and it will generate value of SS or SRP. Second, there are some points to define the problem specifically. Number one, determine the link budget data to get the value of bed loss. Determine the value of cell radius. Determine the number of sites that can be designed. Planning the 5G and our coverage area using the Mentum Planet software. And analyze the predicted coverage of 5G technology in Pulau Gadung industrial area. Third, some points for limitation. Third, some point for limitation, limitation of the problem. Number one, the technology is 5G NR at 28 GHz frequency. The propagation model is 3GPP urban micro. The planning is only doing on the coverage side. And the analyzed parameter is secondary synchronization, reference signal receive power or SSRSRP. There are three researches that become my references to doing this final project. By Safety Andi Eka Wibowo and friends at 2018, discussing about the candidate frequency bands on 5G and R technology that's suitable for application in Indonesia based on the existing frequency spectrum allocation condition. By Bjorn Halvarsen and, and friends at 2018, discussing about 5G and R test band, 3.5 GHz coverage results with them forming the increase in propagation loss at frequency of 3.5 GHz compared to 2.1 GHz can be compensated, compensated. by Hu Chison Telephone Company Limited at 2018, discussing the, re the result of testing the 5G NR network in the 26 or 28 GHz and 3.5 GHz frequency band in urban Hong Kong environment. Next, part of theoretical for this research. Number one, about the architecture of 5G technology. 
there are two, there are two types non standalone and standalone for non -st for non standalone network architecture an r radio cell is combined with lte radio cell use dual connectivity to provide radio access and the network core can be epc or for or 5g core depend de depending on operator choice while the 5G standalone network has a new 5G R interface called New Radio or NR and 5G core which are in one place. And this standalone refers to an independent 5G network. Number two, there are three main goals for 5G use case. EMBB or enhanced mobile broadband handle the case of human users to access uh, multimedia content, service, and data. URLLC or Ultra Reliable Low Latency Communication. This case has strict requirements for capabilities such as, such as good throughput, low latency, and high availability. An MMTC or Massive Machine Type Communication this case is characterized by a very large number of connected devices. So, in general, the, the EMBB scenario would be very suitable to be realized in the public environment, while the URLLC and MMTC scenarios would be very suitable to be realized in an industrial environment. Number three, these are some of the frequency band candidates for the region in Indonesia. 3.5 gigahertz, 50 gigahertz, 15 gigahertz, 26 gigahertz, and 28 gigahertz. I choose high frequency that's more suitable for the industrial area and just the frequency of 28 gigahertz because of the existing use in Indonesia. Number four, link budget factor. 5G and 4G have no, have no difference in basic concept. Link budget involves two types of factors. First, certain factors such as power, antenna gain, noise figure, SENR, penetration loss, and body loss. And second, as uncertain factors such as low fading margin, rain or snow margin, and interference margin. These factors don't occur anytime and or anywhere, but the impact needs to be considered. Number five, cellular planning. There are two sides of cellular planning. Coverage planning that's in from area will be covered by the network and capacity planning that seen from estimate number of users. Number six, outdoor to outdoor with outdoor site and outdoor user and outdoor E, outdoor to indoor scenario with outdoor site and indoor user. Number seven, using the high frequency is suitable, suitable for industrial area because industrial area require high network connectivity. Uh, whereas connectivity is something that must be present with good condition in the, in the economic and industrial sectors, wide, wide bandwidth can reach high data rates high capacity and low latency. Next, this is the flow of my research and the link budget table. The first stage lies in determining the area to be planned for 5G and R network, namely the Progodung industrial area that located in East Jakarta. Some, that, some data that need 
for classification include area size, geographical position, and description of this area. After getting the path loss value for the alkaline and norming, get the cell radius value, get the coverage area value, and at the end of the calculation, I get the I get the required number of genotype. Then the planning, analyze, and simulation are done using the Momentum Planet software. The simulation display the coverage area and also the parameter that be compared with the result of the link budget coverage calculation. And this is the types not for my scanner research with order to order, order to indoor, uplink, downlink, loss, and animals. There are eight scenarios. For the description of the planning area, this area is an implementation of industrial activities which are put together in a special area by the regional government. Rogadung Industrial Estate is located in Kelurahan Jatinegara and Kelurahan Rawa Terate, Jakarta Timur City, DKI Jakarta Province. And until now, this industrial area has a BUMN or BUMD business status with 50% owner of the government of Indonesia Republic and 50% of the provin provincial government. Next, for the formula that I used, I get it from the 3GPP standardization. First, I found the pet loss value with four scenarios and the value of the link budget factor is needed here. The results are alike in this table. Then, I get the 3D or resultant values for the distance of the cell radius from the loss and loss formulas. It requires fat loss value, frequency, and you take in this formula, in this formula. And the results are like in this table for loss and loss scenarios. Then I look for the cell radius with the Pythagoras concept from the table of, from the value of D3D and the results are in, are in this table. After getting the value of the cell radius, I get the value of the coverage area and at the end, I get the number of sites that needed for this planning area. For the result, of the simulation. This is the result picture. 46, uh, 43 sites for scenario 1, 47 sites for scenario 2, 53 sites for scenario 3, 60 sites for scenario 4, 1,179 sites for scenario 5, 1,279 sites for scenario 6, 1,366 sites for scenario 7, and 1,464 sites for scenario 8. Based on this first table, we can see difference in the number of G not B from the calculation result and the simulation result. That's because there is a limit between setting for the number of G not B and the distance of the G not, G not, G not B reduced on the automatic site placement feature that I use. The second table, it showed that from the entire planning coverage area, the highest, the highest percentage 
for the best condition in the SSR SRP range is 29.81% produce based canary oil A. Well, the GIS percentage is 30.36% for the worst condition in the SSR SRP range generated by scenario one. This is the chart. And for this third table, it can be seen that scenario egg has the highest average SSR SRP value, which is minus 74.45 dBm, and scenario one has the lowest average SSR SRP value, which is minus 99.54 dBm. From the average SSR SRP value, it can be seen that the highest number of sites used in scanner UA produce the best average SSR SRP value. And this is the chart. Next, for the conclusion of my research. Number one, from the observed parameter or SSR SRP, it shows that scanner U1 has the lowest of rate average SSR SRP value, which is minus 99.54 dBm, and the highest uh, average SSR SRP value is generated by scanner U8, which is minus, minus 74.45 dBm. This is because in Scenario 8, it has the most number of sites to cover the planning area. Number two, to accommodate the traffic in the Pulagadung industrial area, 43 sites are needed for Scenario 1, 47 sites for Scenario 2, 53 sites for Scenario 3, 60 sites for scenario 4, 1,179 sites for scenario 5, 1, 1,279 sites for scenario 6, 1,363 sites for scenario 7, and 1,464 1, 1, sites for scenario 8. Number three, Scenario 1 becomes the scenario with the highest percentage for SSR SRP value in the worst, which is 30.36%. While Scenario 8 becomes the scenario with the highest percentage for the SSR SRP value in the best condition, in the best condition, which is 29.81%. And here are some points that I recommend for the next research. Using the, the using the different bandwidth and varying propagation model that can be used as a comparison. Techno-economic calculation is needed to do the, the 5G and R network planning. It can be used as reference for network development. And maybe doing 5G planning based on capacity side. And the last, here are some reference that I used. Thank you. Yeah.